Have you ever paused to consider how the concept of home has evolved over the centuries? A home as we know it today is a world apart from its earliest forms. The dawn of home creation dates back to the primitive days when humankind sought refuge in caves and constructed makeshift shelters. These early homes were far from the architectural marvels we see today, yet they were perfect in their own right. They were a testament to human ingenuity and adaptability, serving as a safe haven from the elements and predators. The design of these shelters was dictated by necessity and the environment. The choice of caves as homes, for instance, was a direct response to the need for protection from harsh weather conditions and wild animals. The materials used for the construction of these early homes were sourced from the immediate environment. Stone, wood, leaves, and animal skins were common building materials. The design was simple, focusing on functionality rather than aesthetics. The goal was to create a space that provided warmth, safety, and a place to rest. Climate, too, played a significant role in shaping these early homes. In colder regions, homes were built to retain heat, often using animal skins for insulation. In contrast, in warmer climates, shelters were designed to allow air circulation with open spaces or vents for ventilation. These early homes, as rudimentary as they may seem to us now, laid the foundation for the evolution of home design. They were the first step in a long journey of architectural development and experimentation. The principles of using available resources and adjusting designs to the environment are still evident in today's sustainable and eco-friendly designs. It's fascinating to trace back our roots and see how far we've come in terms of home design and construction. The homes we live in today are a product of centuries of evolution, innovation, and adaptation. And yet, at their core, they serve the same purpose as those early caves and makeshift shelters, to provide us with a sense of security, comfort, and belonging. From these humble, functional beginnings, humanity's journey of home creation began. So join us as we delve deeper into this journey in the coming sections. Stay tuned. As human beings became more settled, their homes began to reflect their changing lifestyles. No longer were they nomadic wanderers, reliant on the temporary shelter of caves and foliage. Instead, they put down roots, both figuratively and literally, as they began to construct homes from the very earth beneath their feet. Imagine the first human to mix mud and straw together, discovering the durable compound we now know as cob. These rudimentary bricks, sun-dried and hardened, formed the walls of the earliest homes. But they didn't stop there. By piling these bricks on top of one another, they inadvertently stumbled upon the concept of verticality in architecture, a principle we still employ in our skyscrapers today. Simultaneously, the advent of stone tools brought about a new era of architectural possibilities. With these tools, our ancestors could shape and stack stones, creating sturdy walls and barriers. This was a significant upgrade from the previous shelters, offering protection from the elements and potential predators. But these homes were not just practical. They were also an early expression of human creativity and societal structure. Within these mud and stone walls, separate rooms began to emerge, a space for cooking, another for sleeping, yet another for socializing. This compartmentalization mirrored the order and structure of their societies, each room serving a distinct purpose in the daily operations of the household. Furthermore, the design and size of these homes often reflected the status of their inhabitants within the society. Larger homes with more rooms belonged to the leaders or the elite, while smaller ones housed families of lesser means. This societal influence on home design is a trend that has persisted through the ages, shaping the architectural landscape of our cities and towns. These early architectural breakthroughs paved the way for the structures we recognize as homes today. From mud and straw to stone and wood, our ancestors laid the foundation for our modern dwellings, showing us that a home is more than just a shelter. It's a reflection of who we are and the society we live in. With the rise of civilizations, homes became more than just shelters, they became statements. As people began to settle and cultivate, the concept of home began to shift in fascinating ways. Ancient civilizations like Egypt, Greece, and Rome began to leave their unique marks on home design. The Egyptians, for instance, were known for their grand rectangular homes made of sun-dried mud bricks. These homes were often adorned with intricate designs, reflecting the wealth and status of the inhabitants. The Greeks, on the other hand, introduced columns into their architecture. 
These columns not only served a practical purpose providing structural support, but they also lent an air of grandeur and elegance to the homes. The Greeks were also known for their open courtyards, a feature still prevalent in modern Mediterranean designs. Then came the Romans, who took the concept of home to a whole new level. They introduced the idea of multi-story homes with distinct rooms for different functions. The Romans also brought in the use of arches and domes, which added a certain dynamism to the architectural landscape. But these homes were not just about functionality, they were also about making a statement. The grandeur of a home was often a reflection of the wealth and status of its owner. The more elaborate the home, the higher the social standing of its inhabitants. Homes became a canvas for people to express their aesthetic sensibilities and showcase their affluence. This was the birth of style in home design. It was no longer just about protecting oneself from the elements. It was about expressing oneself, about creating a space that was as much about comfort and luxury as it was about utility. It was about creating a home that was a reflection of oneself. And so, the concept of home began to evolve. From being a mere survival tool, it became a marker of social standing and aesthetic expression. The home was no longer just a place to live, it was a place to be seen, a place to make a statement. Homes had evolved from mere survival tools to markers of social standing and aesthetic expression. The Industrial Revolution brought about significant changes in every aspect of life, including the way homes were built and designed. As we delve into this transformative era, we see the advent of factories and the shift from handmade to machine-made materials. This shift was a game-changer. No longer were homes solely constructed from local resources. Instead, the Industrial Revolution opened the doors to a variety of materials, including steel, glass, and concrete. This not only expanded the possibilities in home building, but also made homes more durable and less prone to natural disasters. The rise of factories also meant mass production. This enabled home construction to be faster and more efficient, leading to an increase in urbanization. Cities started to grow, and as they did, so did the need for housing. This led to the development of row houses and tenements, which were designed to accommodate multiple families in a single building. These buildings were a far cry from the sprawling manners of the past, but they served their purpose well. Then, there was the advent of new architectural styles. Suddenly, the United States was awash with Victorian and Gothic revival homes. The Victorian style, characterized by its ornate details and vibrant colors, was a stark contrast to the simple and functional designs of the past. The Gothic Revival, on the other hand, was inspired by the medieval times with its pointed arches, steep gables, and elaborate tracery. These styles were not just about aesthetics. They represented the people's newfound freedom to express their individuality and creativity. Homes were no longer just shelters. They were a reflection of the owner's personality and status. In a nutshell, the Industrial Revolution was a pivotal moment in home design and construction. It brought about immense changes from the materials used to the styles adopted. It democratized home ownership, making it possible for more people to have a place they could call their own. The Industrial Revolution transformed not just the landscape of cities but also the face of homes. It was a period of great innovation and change, one that continues to shape the way we build and design homes today. In the 21st century, homes have become a blend of functionality, comfort, and style. A far cry from the rudimentary shelters of our ancestors, modern homes are a testament to human creativity and innovation, where every room and corner serves a specific purpose. Contemporary home designs are all about creating harmony between the indoors and outdoors. Expansive glass windows and open floor plans bring in natural light, blurring the line between the house and its surroundings. The influence of technology is also hard to miss. From smart homes controlled by a simple tap on your phone to voice-controlled lights and temperature settings, our homes are becoming more intelligent and responsive to our needs. But it's not just about looking good or being high-tech. There's a growing trend towards sustainable and eco-friendly homes. Think solar panels on rooftops, rainwater harvesting systems, and insulation made from recycled materials. These are not just trends, but a conscious shift towards reducing our carbon footprint and living more sustainably. Architects play a crucial role in shaping modern homes. Their creative visions transform ordinary spaces into extraordinary living environments. They're not just designing houses, but crafting experiences. Whether it's a minimalist apartment in a bustling city or a sprawling mansion in the countryside, every home tells a story. A story conceived and brought to life by an architect. 
And as we look to the future it's clear that architects will continue to shape our living spaces. They'll be at the forefront of incorporating new technologies, pushing the boundaries of design, and promoting sustainable living. We can expect homes to become even more personalized, reflecting our personalities, lifestyles, and values. So, what's next for home design? Will we see houses that float on water or homes that can change shape and size? Perhaps homes that can generate their own energy or even homes built on Mars? As we move forward, it's exciting to imagine how homes will continue to evolve and adapt to our changing needs. From caves to condos, the journey of home evolution is a fascinating reflection of human ingenuity and adaptability. We've traveled a long road, from the rudimentary shelters of our earliest ancestors, to the straw and stone structures that mark the birth of style in home design. As our society grew and changed, so did our homes. The Industrial Revolution brought about a transformative shift, with technological advancements paving the way for mass production of homes. This period was characterized by a surge in creativity and innovation, as architects and builders began to experiment with new materials and techniques. In recent years we've witnessed the rise of modern homes, reflecting our evolving needs and aspirations. These homes are not just about shelter, but about comfort, efficiency, and sustainability. They showcase our capacity for adaptation and our unending quest for improvement. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into the world around us. Until next time, keep exploring.